I can't believe we haven't spoken about this already. Hello YouTube world, welcome, my name is Katie if you are new here, but if you're not new, welcome back love. Right, so, again, I can't believe we haven't actually spoken about this. I have been a patient for two years, longer than two years. I've been doing videos for a year about this whole topic, yet I haven't one time spoken about the fact that we can only get five sometimes or 10 grams minimum. So in this video, we are going to talk about that fact. We are going to get a bit passionate about it because I know that there are a ton of patients out there who advocate continually for black market. And this is going to be a video that is pro black market. Of course, being a medical patient and a person who does YouTube on the medical topic, we are going to get some crossover into the black market. So today's one of those videos where you can sit back if you're somebody who likes to hear medical be slated a little bit, I guess. This one's for you. So. It was legalised in 2018, right? November. Okay, cool. So, I understand that there would have been some teething problems in the beginning, you know, it's Britain. We have always been against it. So I understand that they're going to have to learn what to fucking do. Let's be honest, right? I, I get that. However, what I don't get is that the answers were staring them in the face the entire time through data of other countries. So what I mean by this is in every other country that is either legalized for recreational or medical, not sure about Germany because it's very, very new. So if there's any German people listening to me, let me know. For example, Thailand, Dan, Malta, Canada, America. You can walk in to any dispensary and go and have a look at what they have available. And what they have available for you is different flour at one gram flowers. Obviously they have more and the more you get the less that you are going to pay. But there is options. There is multitude of options for you to try different medicine at one gram pots. Why did the UK decide, in all its knowledge, that they're going to ramp that up 10 times and that we don't get a choice to pick one gram flowers? We have to buy 10 grams. Sometimes you can get five, but let's, let's be honest, the majority, you have to buy 10 grams from the UK medical, right? So where did they get this information from because in order for them to know what they're doing to start this whole fucking thing they must have looked at research they must have looked at other countries and how they're doing it and what they're doing why did it switch why are we so fucking backwards i don't understand can anybody answer me is there a legal reason as to why we can't get one gram samples and we have to pay for 10 grams minimum. Because what you find when you're a medical patient is that if you want to try something new, you have to pay for 10 grams of it. Prime example is for my prescription that I've just paid for. One of them is the Hexa something Mac something right i can't fucking remember what it is but the whole point of the the conversation is the fact that i've had to get 10 grams of that to see whether i like it and if i don't like it then i've got nine grams left and i've wasted my money but if you walk into any other country that i know of at the moment that's not the case you can choose something that is a gram to try different medication to see if it is effective for you and you're not wasting your money. 
why now are we in 2024 and it's still not an option i get that at the beginning maybe that they had to do it some certain way or whatever but we are in in it now we're in the thick of it now there are clinics popping up there are so many people talking about this now but for some reason myself included have just forgotten to actually ramp up the talk about this because i'll be honest with you guys i don't know where to go with this i don't know who to talk to i don't know how we would stop this or get it down lower i would say a petition but a hundred thousand people ain't gonna sign it i know that i know we're not gonna get a hundred thousand signatures if we do it it take fucking years so where do we go with this how do we as patients make the noise to say yo why can't we get one grand why can't we even get an eighth where is our henry the eighth that we know that we love that we've had on the black market for years we can get our grams we can get our henry's we can get our cues we can get our halves and we can get our o's if medical are trying to sway people from the black market to come over you ain't gonna do it by telling them that they have to buy 10 grams yes in the beginning a lot of people were very very happy to do so myself included real novelty right all legal patient all but it's been five years now and there's a lot of talk about it now and other people that are looking to become a patient are going to see this information and they're going to make a decision based upon our experiences so back in the day there wasn't a lot of information we haven't had that talk like there, there, there hasn't been that talk because everybody's kind of just been happy to just be a patient because it's legal now because you're a patient do you know what i mean but i think now that it's been five years we we now need to start seeing a change and i am asking you where the fuck how the fuck do we do that who do we go to how do we start saying we want grams we want apes we want 5g's how do we do that because there is no way no way that the black market huge popularity that love that there's no way that those patients are going to come over to the medical if they see that this is what they have to do in order to try a different medication to see if it affects them so i really do think that the medical market needs to be careful i really do i think there needs to be some changes i think they need to look at what they're doing and make it better but on the other side of that it's england it's britain do i need to say more we for some fucking reason think we know better they haven't looked at like cali you know usa in general and, and canada and and anywhere else that they have massive boom and started this whole thing they don't look at that and go what are they doing that's working right because all of those people medicate with a plan that we can get in this country and a shit ton of people in our country also medicate with that plant right so why haven't they carbon copied what's working over there and gone let's get that let's just put our british on it whatever you need to do to make it lawful whatever and then do that where was the switch where did it change oh they're doing a grams oh well we'll do 10. where where where, where the fuck did it change because I ain't got the money to be spending buying 10 G or something if I don't like it. So it's going to force me to go back to the black market, which I don't want to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just think, you know what? Medical in general is advancing. Britain ain't. And I'll be honest with you. I'm in a super, super anti-UK, like, part of my life more so than i ever have been in my life 
And this is just more and more reason to just fucking hate what the UK does to its people. And it ain't going to change anytime soon. So this is all just fucking barking into the wind. But there may be a small chance that this video would hit somebody that works there or I don't know, maybe. It's now out into the universe, right? I don't think we're going to change anything. I don't think we're going to get grams or, or apes or anything on our medical scene anytime soon. I really don't. But if I don't do this video, if I don't have you guys comment in this video, then the energy's not out there. It's not out there. And in order to manifest something, you have to put that energy out there, right? Whether that be a YouTube video or a comment on that YouTube video, it's still energy, right? Everything you do consists of doing, it, it, it costs energy to do so. So this is my energy calling to everyone. If you know what we can do to maybe try and put this out there into the midst of the UK medical counter market, let us know. Let us know. Sound off if you know why the fuck we don't have it and whether there's a certain law in the UK where we just have to pay through the roof. We just have to pay through the roof because we're fucking idiots. Because we're fucking Brits and they'll fucking pay it. So I don't know. I don't know. But like I say, this, this video is out there now. The energy is out there. I don't know. I hope something can be done about it. But this kind of come off the back of the fact that like, I wanted to try this new Mac Hexa, whatever the fuck. Because I went onto Medbud and I saw the, the terpenes of it. And mm, 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 mm. you know me. Mm -mm -mm. you'll know that I very much liked the look of this one. So I don't mind, right? I don't mind spending the money on that. But you've also got the flip side where it's like, well, if I do want to try something else to do a review for you guys and I don't like it, I've just spent my money on a medicine that I don't like. And now what do I do? Now what do I do? Like, do you know what I mean? It wasn't just a G. Because I can give you the exact same review with a G. I'm not smoking 10 G before I give you the review, right? Because if I did that, these reviews wouldn't come out in a timely manner for those entitled people that want it like that. So it doesn't happen like that, right? So I could actually do everything that I do now with less money. Imagine that. Fucking imagine that. But it will never happen. Anyway, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. I love you guys. I really, really do. Subscribe if you vibe with this type of shit. And you want more things like this in your feed. Obviously, like the video if you like the video. Send it out to the algorithm. You never know. Maybe this energy might get picked up by the right person. Who knows? Love you guys. See you next week. And I'm thankful and I'm like for the fans that love the listeners. Yeah. And I'm thankful. And I'm thankful. Even for the ones that don't believe in us.